Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Starlord, I hope that you're having a fantastic day, and in today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys seven locations for the evil, evil gnomes in Fortnite Battle Royale. These locations are pretty easy to find in my opinion, but I can imagine that some people will have a little bit of difficulty with this, especially if you are new to the game and don't know every location uh, around the map. I know for a fact that there's no worse feeling than actually going into a building, hearing that evil little chuckle that they do, and not knowing exactly where the actual little shit is. So yeah, that's pretty much what this guide will actually cover for all of you today. Uh, but before we actually do get into today's guide, I would like to say please remember to leave a like if you do end up enjoying it and find it helpful, please tell your friends about the channel and also subscribe to it if you haven't already for more Fortnite glitches, guides, videos, even some V-Bucks giveaways. I've got a couple of those planned for the future. I don't actually know a way I can give people V-Bucks, but I know for a fact that if I give you guys an Xbox gift card, a PSN gift card, or even money through PayPal, you guys can use that method as actually buying V-Bucks for yourself. Just one little kind of thing is, guys, there is no such thing as a V-Bucks giveaway. Like, there's no way to give somebody V-Bucks. Just remember that, okay? There's only ways to give people the gift card themselves or you know PayPal money through to their PayPal uh, so yeah bear that in mind and if you do want a chance at getting into one of my giveaways then please remember to subscribe turn on notifications and just kind of watch the videos guys every now and then in a video I will announce that I've actually got a giveaway going on that day and I will say a random word like Pudis poop or something I don't know and all you have to do is comment it down below and uh, pretty much you're entered into the giveaway other than that guys I do do a couple of giveaways on my Twitter so if you guys do want to get in for a couple of exclusive giveaways go over to my Twitter uh, kind of handle the link is in the description it's uh, I think it's like at Starlord YouTube other than that guys let's get into finding the seven little shits around the Fortnite Battle Royale map enjoy Starting off with gnome number one, we're gonna head down to Greasy Grove. I would actually say that out of all of the gnome locations that I went to, this was probably the most obscure one. Not many people actually landed here with me. Um, there was actually a load of locations where I just got bombarded with people trying to get this gnome. Uh, but it seems that the one at the Derberger restaurant is actually not as known as I would have thought. Uh, what you want to do is basically land at the entrance of the Derberger, go inside just like I did, and we're gonna head towards the toilet area at the back right hand side of the restaurant. We're gonna go in the left hand side toilet, destroy that cubicle and right there on the floor is the gnome that you are looking for. Anyway guys, let's move on to the next location. For location number two, we're actually gonna go to a less populated area, which is Lucky Landing. We're gonna land pretty much at the most, I believe it's the northwestern part of the map on Lucky Landing. And right here, you will see a pretty awesome looking building. It's got about three stories to it. We're gonna land at this one exactly. We're gonna go inside, and right here inside this location is actually the gnome that we want. As you can see in this clip, I was actually just getting some shotguns and everything like that because when I landed here previously, I got my ass handed to me, so that's pretty much why. And inside this actual toilet right here, you will see that there is a gnome behind the bathtub itself. I don't know what it is with the obsession with the gnomes being in toilets, but they do seem to like them. So this is the location of gnome number two in our gnome guide. For gnome number three, we're gonna be landing at Tomato Town or Tomato Town. I don't know how you guys pronounce that, but anyway, tomato, tomato, it's all good. This location was actually the one where most people killed me every time I tried to get the gnome. This one, for some odd reason, is the place where everyone likes to go to grab their gnomes. And uh, as you can see, there is the tomato building right there. And what we're gonna do is land at the back side of it because we're actually needing to go to the managerial office. Is that even a word, managerial? The manager's office. We just need to go to the manager's office, okay guys? So land right here, open up the door, and on the right hand side door right here, as you can see, the gnome is just behind this desk right here. Collect it, and then we're good to go to the next gnome location. 
Gnome number four can be found at Retail Row. This is again another very easy location for people to find. Honestly, I think a lot of you guys have probably maybe already found this one, uh, but you know what? I have to do it anyway, just for the guide purposes. And uh, as you can see, we want to land on the very back hand side of Retail Row itself by all of the shop shopping kind of areas I guess and uh, as you can see I'm going towards the water tower right now and this is pretty much where the gnome is actually located we're gonna go through this metal gate right here go through to the power area or the water area I guess and we're gonna destroy here and as you can see right behind it is the gnome itself collect it and let's get on to the next gnome location once again, here is another easy location for a gnome, as not many people actually land at Snobby Shores these days. Since, like, Epic removed, like, five chests, just nobody goes here anymore. Like, I remember at one point, I used to have to contest to actually get chests in this area, and it just seems that nobody even goes here anymore. So basically, what we want to do is go to the very back left-hand side of all of the houses. You guys will probably remember this house, as it was the one with the secret underground bunker. And it's right in this room, right? to the back right here as I did hear that somebody was trying to come up at me I just thought I'd grab the shotgun and finish them off really quickly so there you go but behind this wardrobe right here you will see that if you destroy it you will reveal an underground bunker turn left and inside this room right here right behind this bathtub should be an actual gnome standing right in that corner right there I forgot that the first time I landed here I never actually clicked the recording button so yes I'm a silly ass but don't worry guys, if you go here, go behind that bathtub, there is a gnome looking you straight in the eyes right there as you take a poop. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to the next gnome location. The next location is a bit of a pain in the bum, pardon the pun, but yes, it is at actual Flush Factory, the place where pretty much nobody goes on the left hand side of the map anymore. I don't know, I, I've only landed here to destroy all of it and that's pretty much it. Uh, but once we're actually here guys, we're gonna go through the main exit, main entrance I guess, by these two trucks. We're just gonna go through this little uh, depot area. And once inside, we're actually gonna go to the back area where there is a painted toilet kind of testing area I guess. Destroy the toilet. And right behind it is the gnome that you are looking for. Again, you will probably not actually find anyone coming here, to be fair. I only found, like, one person here. And even then, when I decided to go on to Yonder Yard, which is the little kind of factory area right after here, nobody was there. I was very surprised to find that nobody comes to those locations that much anymore. So, yeah, you shouldn't have any problems with this gnome location. Enjoy. And finally, the last gnome location we're going to be going to is the one in Salty Springs. This is kind of a bit of an annoying kind of location, to be honest. There were several other locations I could have chose, but I thought, you know what, a lot of people do land here in squads or, you know, in duos or something. So it's just kind of there whilst you land here. So it's a very convenient place to actually find a gnome. But as you can see, I've actually pulled out my glider right here, and there will be one house that is in Salty Springs that is actually destroyed by kind of a tree falling onto it. It is this one right here, and this is pretty much where you're going to find the last gnome. And if we just kind of go to the front house, House, uh, front of the house location go inside it we're gonna go down the stairs and right underneath the staircase behind these little wood wooden cardboard box thingies I don't know what they're called cardboard boxes I forgot I had a brain fart moment you will actually find the next gnome for your location this guy in the bunny outfit genuinely thought I went into that room you're a bit of an ass Steve-o but you know what it's okay grab your little gnome dude I know you I just helped you out don't worry about it uh, but anyway guys that concludes all of the gnome locations for the week six challenges is it week six challenge now I think it might be week seven actually but anyway that concludes all of the gnome locations if you did enjoy this guide please remember to leave a like show it to your friends and also if you're new here subscribe to the channel for more glitches guys videos all that kind of stuff for fortnite battle royale i believe that there is going to be a raven event sometime very soon in this game you know the new skin raven yes well it was actually leaked on the playstation store that it's going to be some sort of an event kind of skin so i will if i hear any more information about that i will keep you guys up to date with all of the latest information about fortnite battle royale yeah, but anyway guys, thank you very much for watching today's video, have an awesome day, enjoy the brand new update and all of the challenges that come along with it, and until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya!